Diversion, you say? Adventure, I say! <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Mapped. Thanks for joining me. I'm currently on the A57 on the way to Glossop or through Glossop I should say. It's stuck in traffic and today I'm going via the peaks standard on my way to Nottingham because it's that time of year again. It's time for the GS to be serviced. So yeah another year's gone which is uh, crazy in one way and couldn't have gone quick enough in another for obvious reasons but it's their second year service for the, the Mighty GS. So on my way to uh, Roy Pidcock, Nottingham Way. I really like going up there and I haven't been up there since the, the bike was last serviced. And if you remember, uh, Toby rode the bike up there uh, for me, me riding Pillion last time. So it's uh, quite nice riding the, my, my own bike up there this time. And uh, hopefully nothing will be wrong with the bike. I really hope this traffic uh, thins out. The Gun Inn. Nice. Good name. Very to the point. <laughs> so while I'm up here, I'm going to try and make a bit of a video out of it, obviously, and uh, find out or track down a route, an alternative route back from uh, Nottingham, back to Manchester. Because why not? Seems like the thing to do. And the weather is actually really good. I can't get out the way. I can't see anything. Can't see anything. Oh, the views never get old up here. Look at it. Look how pretty it is over there. Majestic hills of the peaks. Or the majestic peaks of the peaks. <laughs> and the weather's great. It may look grey and moody at the moment, but uh, it's actually 13 degrees. So it's pretty muggy actually, if anything else. Look at that! Absolutely stunning. But I'm stuck behind a truck, which is not great news. So I'm on the, on the A628, I believe, at the moment, riding over the peaks. It's a good road, I really like it. I've done it many a time before. And it's um, my preferred route to Nottingham when on the bike, for obvious reasons when you look at it. So pretty. And things would be oh so bad if there wasn't this mahusive truck in front of me! <laughs> wow. But that truck can't ruin the wonderful views, can it? No, it can't. I'm having some issues uh, with this camera at the moment. All my other drift cameras are absolutely fine. But for some reason, the initial footage uh, gets corrupted uh, when I start filming. So I haven't been able to uh, figure out if it's my uh, memory card or if it's the camera because uh, half the, the footage is okay but the other half uh, just films in like 30, uh, well less than that, 10 second intervals and it's all jittery and uh, cr clearly corrupted I'm going to try and figure it out but if not I'm going to reach out to the good guys at Drift Innovation again for a bit of advice or support which is a shame but you know, just one of those things and I'm sure it'll be able to be fixed Got a slightly different camera mount today on the back of the bike. I've got my panniers on, so it's a bit of a wider uh, field of view here. So uh, we'll see how that turns out. Got the reservoir to our right at the moment. Look at, I, I, well, I can just see it. Your camera probably won't be able to make it out, but it is beautiful on this February morning. Oh wow! Well, might as well just give up. It's tons of trucks. There we are. Look at it. Look at it! What a view, that's what it's all about. Stunning. Oh yeah, it's a very heavy morning on this road. Such a shame. Never oh, mind. Wow. Whoa! Amazing. I should do this road like when it's really early or as early as possible because I'm sure it'll be uh, a lot less busy. 
and then four I could take full advantage of these twisties. So I was in a bit of a rush this morning. I uh, was trying to get all my kit together. I did all my prep last night and uh, I got the bike out of the garage and to my horror, it was filthy. I mean, it was, it was awful. And my vanity got the best of me and decided to uh, give it uh, a wash before coming out. Uh, because I, ju I just can't pull up into Roy Pidcock with my bike completely covered in crap. I mean, it, it was really bad. So my neighbours had a like a Benny Hill type show of the quickest bike wash ever. And to my surprise, she came up really well for just a hose over it. But all those shiny new bikes there, I can't very well bring bring mine up there uh, to be uh, shown up, you know. <laughs> I hope uh, other bikers out there get that. But I'm, uh, yeah, looking forward to getting up there. Checking out, uh, checking out the new bikes. There's a couple in particular that I'm interested to see. First uh, is the new uh, GS850 uh, Adventure. Hopefully they've got that in. And of course, um, unless you've been living under a rock, you must have heard about the new R1250 GS, a GS Adventure. Very keen to see, uh, see one of those in the metal, so to speak. So yeah, quite excited take advantage of the great coffee and it's great coffee kick some tires have a chat with the guys yeah it'd be nice and obviously i've got a nice ride out there today still not working i don't think this camera is working you know i've got my laptop with me so i'm going to check the uh i'll check the footage when i get into uh the destination oh man don't tell me we've got traffic we got traffic oh what a crime might have to start overtaking. Man, truly is the top of the world up here. Spectacular stuff. Bonsley! Oh dear, come on. So barren up here. I think that's another reservoir down there. I really want to look around and take in. But because of the traffic, I can't! Come on! <laughs> More traffic on the peaks, oh dear. So as we're stuck in traffic, I'm going to talk about my little ensemble today because I've changed things up a bit since my last videos and hopefully this camera will be working to pick it up. So today I'm rocking the uh, Bogota Touratech jacket from Alpine Stars. This is the original Bogota. I got it back in uh, 2017 um, ahead of the NC500 uh, tour which we did and it's a fantastic jacket and if you can find one now it's uh it's a steal uh, you know i reckon you can get them for about 200 pounds because uh, the Bo bogota v2 is now out and i believe that's around uh 250 or approximately around that so it's like the the middle middle of the range jacket from alpine stars that's not gore-tex and uh, it's absolutely brilliant uh i uh, i think it's an awesome bit of kit hood jeans affinity hood jeans and of course my trusty alpine star sm uh Oh man, I can't remember what they're called. SM6, Gore-Tex boots. Screwed that one up, didn't I? <laughs> and they're just brilliant boots for touring. And never let me down. Nice and dry and warm. I think they're great. And that's for my gloves. Alpine Stars again. Uh, but these ones are the Gore-Tex Equinox gloves. Uh, but again, I don't think they do them anymore. But they're the, the best gloves I've ever come across to date. So there we go. That's what I'm rocking. Just fancied a little bit of a change for today's ride. That being said, the Andes V2 kit is brilliant. I really, really like it. And then for, as for an entry range, or well, entry uh, uh, level suit from the Alpine Stars, it really does tick a whole lot of boxes, for me anyway. And as I've said in previous videos, if you want a, a separate feature on that kit, I'm quite happy to do either a write-up or uh, a separate video. Uh, this kit, all of it, um, by the way, has been purchased, not given to me, with the exception of my jeans, uh, who were very, which was very provi uh, kindly provided by Hood for a review. 
So yeah, all the Alpine Star kit I've mentioned, yeah, I, I've purchased. Anyway, upwards and onwards. Oh, a discerning gentleman in front of me, driving the Jag with the Trilby on the back. I say, seriously, come on. Oh, would you look at the blue sky? It's a beautiful thing. A beautiful thing. Oh, I noticed this uh, this morning as I was doing my quick wash of the bike, a daffodil had sprouted right by my front door. Surely that means spring is here, right? That's the rule. Daffodils are about, spring is here, and that means biking season. <laughs> oh dear, blue flashing lights. I wonder what that's all about. Wow, how pretty is this? Sun's out, blue skies, it's like 11 degrees, 12 degrees, look at that. In a pretty town. It's good times to be on a bike, man. Good times to be on a motorcycle. I believe I'm coming into a town called Pennystone, and uh, I know that I'm not a full grown up, because every time I see it, it makes me giggle, because it looks like penis stone. That, that's how my brain reads it. It's so wrong, very immature, very droll. Without fail, it makes me giggle. <laughs> and two of my best friends got married here as well, a few years back. So this place holds good memories. But yeah, without, um, without a shadow of a doubt, it always makes me, uh, always makes me smile. There, it's right there on the sign in front of me. I don't know if you can make it out. Pennystone, P-E-N-I-S-T-O-N-E. -E. <laughs> oh dear, a bit premature there. Okay, I'm making a slight detour um, for a cafe. As, uh, there's been a bit of a running theme in the last few videos with the Cobbles Cafe up in the peaks as well as the Onderman. And as this is another jaunt over the peaks, I figured I'll try and track down a different cafe. So I did a little bit of due diligence and uh, hopefully I can track it down. Yeah, Julie's Cafe, I saw a sign for it there. There it is, Julie's Cafe, here we go. Let's give this a whirl. I see a sign for a cafe. Oh, there it is, that looks cafe shaped to me. Marvellous. Already. Cool. Excellent. Excellent. Let's go and get us a cup of tea. And hopefully you're working. There we go. That is Julie's. Thank you very much, Julie's Cafe. Tucked away in Penny Stone. And it's not too bad. The portions are very generous. I had my standard bacon and egg cob. There was like three or four rashes of bacon and two uh, eggs in it. So huge, and, uh, and a cup of tea for £3.50, and that's a bargain. But it's uh, not in the same league as the Onderman, nor for that ma matter, uh, the Cobbles Cafe in uh, Longnor. Uh, I really like that place. But uh, the hospitality in there was great, very accommodating. So yeah, check it out. Okay, so now it's on to... Uh, Roy Pidcock. Yet again, all the footage from this camera uh, did not come out. It's all corrupted. So I'm a bit stumped as to why that's happening. So I've swapped the cameras over as I want the footage from that mount more so than uh, the one from the panniers. So hopefully that's going to be a short term fix, but it's got to be something uh, obvious. Cool. That's bumpy terrain right there. Well, I'm working off the assumption that this camera is working, so hopefully now you'll be able to see the, uh, the jacket, the Bogota, that I was referring to earlier, in all its glory. And again, I'll do a write-up or a review or whatever you want me to do on this jacket as well, if you would like me to. I've got no problem with doing that. Hmm. Diversion, you say? Adventure, I say! <laughs> oh, I do talk some rubbish. So yeah, uh, on to Roy Pickock, as I said earlier. 
I'm meeting up with Keith there and I'm really excited to see him. Fellow biker and he's either going to be there on his K100 or his R100. I'm sure it's an R100. Uh, both of them are stunning machines so uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what he arrives on. And uh, I'm not sure if he uh, wants to take a bike out or what. Um, but we'll see, like I said, when we, like we said, when I get there. Future plans. Um, I want to do a, a new video on uh, the imp the impressions of this bike. Uh, we did it with the the uh, BRF Crossrunner, Pete's bike. He's had that for uh, probably about a year now, and uh, he shared his impressions on that. It's a, a kind of a, a twist on a review video because obviously we're not journalists and we're not pretending to be. So to say it's a review on our bike is a bit strong. So that's why I chose to call it an impressions video. And uh, I'm going to do the same with the GS. And hopefully the guys will do the, the same with Toby on his Tiger and Cal on his R1 and Tracer. So that's uh, something else that's going to be coming to Matt real soon. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Just sharing you my, my casual thoughts, if you like, on uh, running and owning a GS. Uh, the pluses and minuses, all that kind of good stuff. Okay, I think I'm going to wrap it up there and I'll see you guys at, uh, at BMW Roy Pidcock. Oh yeah. I'm going to go into music mode in fact, rocking out to a bit of Pearl Jam. Woo! What a glorious day! Marvellous. Superb! Okay, I've just come off the motorway. So I'm a few uh, minutes out from uh, Roy Pidcock, which is good. And the sun has really come out to play. It's 15 and a half degrees, which is just crazy. I had a real failure there on the way here uh, with, the, with the Nav 5. It kept on uh, losing uh, satellite reception, so I've had to avoid resort to uh, Google Maps via the comms, which has kind of saved my bacon a bit until I started recognising roads. I wasn't sure where I was. And uh, now, unfortunately, I, I'm, uh, I'm running late. <laughs> so I hope Keith is not too mad with me. But yeah, other than uh, sat-nav issues there, it's been a fantastic ride out here. Here we are, Long Eaton. Score! I always associate uh, Roy Pidcock's of Nottingham, that's why I always say heading to Nottingham. But of course, it is indeed in Long Eaton. So uh, before anybody starts uh, messaging me and correcting me, I know, I know, it's Long Eaton. I remember riding out of here a couple of years ago with this when it was brand spanking new and dropping off that Harley Fat Bob, which I loved so dearly. That was uh, another nervous uh, ride right there going through all this traffic. Going from a fat bob to this was uh, quite the jump, but totally worth it. <sighs> Come on. I kind of want to get there now. Nearly there. Nearly there. Oh, I know where I am. Just had that moment when you get on every journey, when you recognize where you are. And uh, the dealership is just up here. Fantastic stuff. I see it. We made it. And I'm just a little bit late. Just a little bit. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing Keith. I haven't seen him for a little while. Oh, it's quiet. Here we are, in all its glory, Roy Pidcock. Unbelievable weather. Okay. See you in a bit. Okay, so the bike's just been serviced. As you would have seen, the sun's low in the sky on a beautiful February day. 
and I'm heading into Nottingham after a great day on the bike. It's great to know that the bike is uh, A-OK. -okay. Flew through its health check, as you would expect. And she's all set for the season ahead. I thought I might need to put on some new tyres as uh, you know they, they were looking a bit to my eyes a bit squared off but uh, you know I got three mils of tread on uh, both front and rear tyres so legally speaking I'm absolutely fine so I might uh, run with them for a little bit longer before uh, looking into new tyres. Well, I hope you enjoyed that uh, ride across the peaks and our visit to uh, Roy Pidcock I think I've got to wrap things up here because it's just going to be traffic and dual carriageway and nothing really exciting. But thank you for watching as always. If you liked what you've seen, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up because that always helps. Also check out, if you haven't already, our Facebook page and Instagram feed. Lots of stuff always going on there. And until the next time, ride safe. Take care.